Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me right now, but I am so sorry, okay? I, I panicked when you got the WWE offer, and I didn't think about what I was doing. It was selfish, and I know I screwed up big time. I knew that weeks ago, but I was in too deep at that point. I thought about coming clean so many times, but the longer I waited, I knew the worse it would be, so I decided to do anything I could to keep us together. Look, take whatever time you need to cool down, and maybe we can meet up at some point and talk, okay? I'm sorry, Buzz. I really, truly am. Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know. That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're going to do great. Aw, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... I'm gonna miss you, man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. <laughs> wow! wow! Got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Uh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the Indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. 
because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's U.S. title. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. It's your boy Cole. Listen, I've been reading this thing called a thesaurus, and I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. There are so many good gimmick ideas here. All right, listen to this. Cole Quinn, but my nickname is the Quinn Tessential Rubicon. I don't even know what it means, but it sounds awesome. All right, hit me back up. Buzz, this is it. I've peaked. This is the best idea I've ever had. Rock and roll cool. <laughs> and I already got my perm. Buzz, I got it. This is the one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Quinona Ryder. Eh? Eh? Nah, I'm just messing with you. That's terrible. No, the real idea is all I do is win Quinn. Now that's money. You're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Pigeonhole coal. You can't put me in a box, cause I'm already in it. Oh, Buzz, you're gonna love this one, buddy. You're gonna love this one. Got no self-control coal. I just ate like eight donuts. Uh, all right, Buzz. Uh, I'm kind of at the end of my rope here. I I'm just gonna list off a bunch of ideas. Uh, what do I got here? Bankroll, Cole. I guess like a banker. I give loans. Uh, egg roll, Cole. I'm like a, a sushi chef of some kind. Ah, uh, man. Keyhole, Cole. I, I, I make keys. Loophole coal. I guess I'm like a lawyer, maybe. Parole coal. Like I'm, I'm, I'm under house arrest at all times. Maybe I could have like a cop be my manager. Oh boy. Buzz, good news. I got my mojo back, baby. This one's gonna be money. I guarantee it. Listen to this. Field goal coal. And he shoots! He scores! Right? Is that football? You don't think I'll actually have to play football, do you? Oh, man. Uh, uh, all right, well, well, how about this one? Drum roll, Cole. Right? And I can come out and it's just a, a drum. And the whole crowd will... Oh, man. Uh, sinkhole, Cole. Because when you wrestle me, you'll... Sink? North Pole coal. I guess I could be like an elf. Or something. Uh, what else do we got? <laughs> fishbowl coal. I can wear a fishbowl on my head. That'll be really over. Buzz, you're gonna love this one. I just got done spending hours on my computer, spreading viral rumors about you. That's right, it's me, Internet Troll Cole. You mad, bro? <laughs> the kids are gonna love it. Memes! Buzz. Buzz, I, I, I can't talk for long. They're coming. And they're listening. But I got it. My best gimmick idea yet. I've just been binging conspiracy documentaries. Get this. My new name, Grassy Knoll Cole. You'll want to believe. All right, throw away this phone as soon as you get this voicemail. Bye. Buzz, I was just doing my laundry and I had to call you. I was watching the dryer go round and round, right? And the clothes spinning in the machine. 
and all of a sudden, it hit me. The best gimmick idea ever. The Cyclone. It's like Cyclone, but I put my name, Cole, in there. And I basically like spin around and like throw clotheslines at people. It's money, I'm telling you, Buzz, I'm running with the next show. You're gonna be hearing a lot about the Cyclone later. Buzz, I was just watching NXT and then it hit me. The gimmick that's finally gonna get me to the top. Listen to this. Adam Cole's evil twin brother, Cole Adam. Well, well I guess technically if we're twin brothers, and we'd have to have the same last name, but oh, whatever, we can work out the kinks later. Listen, if you have Mr. McMahon's email, could you shoot that to me? I really think this idea is money, bro. Okay, talk to you later. I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? There shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. <laughs> Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm gonna finish what he started. I'm no stranger to Battle Royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 33. No one else stands a chance tonight. Yeah. Insulting the modern-day Maharaja is not the way you want to start your tenure on SmackDown Live. It looks like now we have a brawl on our hands. And the superstars look ready back there. Wow, what a slam. Double underhook applied. A face buster! Huh, man! Action is on the move now. And we're back to this form of attack. Seen this move tonight. Oh. 
This is raw power here. Gut wrench suplex coming. There's more to come. Another. The superstar is still not done. Dropping the power bomb. This one is over. He's looking a little off balance. This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more resolve than just about anybody on the roster. Here we go again. Oh boy, he is rolling. Pure power on display right there. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Oh, boy. That number of power oh, bomb. bomb. Not done yet. Oh, not God. again. Not again. A third time. Gosh. Like you in high school, Saxton. This one's over, guys. Oh, it'll be hard for Mahal to... Up next is one of the most dangerous matches in all of sports entertainment. All eyes are going to be watching. Taking shortcuts and failing upwards.
Lone Wolf about to pray. Baron Corbin, a WWE superstar who does not care what you think, what you feel. Baron Corbin's only concern in this world is Baron Corbin. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Just turned into a theme park of happiness. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Uh, Xavier with Francesca number 88. Oh man, I would love to have my own Francesca. Xavier Woods, I think the most underrated member of New Day. He's an incredibly talented superstar, deceptively powerful, lightning quick, and very, very tough from bell to bell. I just don't discount his intelligence either. Earning his PhD in educational psychology, maybe in addition to two bachelor's degrees in psychology and philosophy. Well, maybe you should have graduated six. It's time for a perfect 10. Come on, Corey, put your hands up. 10, 10, 10, 10. And from Niagara Falls, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Happy Rusev Day! And from Bulgaria, weighing in at 304 pounds, Rusev! The Lion of Bulgaria fighting for all of his constituents. 
Rusev Day is a real life phenomenon. Mojo's here, and he's all business. And from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 265 pounds, Mojo Foley. You know, Corey, as soon as Mojo shed that loser Zack Ryder, he's completely changed his life. You're absolutely right. It's been a straight upward ascent oh, for yeah. Mojo Raleigh. You mean when Mojo stabbed Zack Ryder in the back? Maybe Zack Ryder should have done better. Maybe Mojo... Here comes the worst internet champion ever, Zack Ryder. And their opponent... From Long Island, New York, weighing in at 224 pounds, 